All right, welcome back everyone. According to the National Institute of Health, about 43% of Americans take a supplement that includes calcium. Calcium is an important mineral for maintaining strong bones, but if you are considering taking one, there are some risks that you should know about. You might have heard that calcium supplements are a good way to improve your health, but research is showing that might not be the case. A large study out of Johns Hopkins found that taking calcium supplements can negatively affect heart health. Just using calcium supplements was independently associated with this increased risk of developing atherosclerosis. Calcium supplements also cause side effects like bloating, constipation, and kidney stones. A study published in the journal Neurology also found women who took calcium supplements were at a higher risk for developing dementia. And Dr. Miko says the largest research to date shows inconclusive results about the benefits of taking calcium supplements to build strong bones. For individuals that are already meeting the recommended daily allowance, there's no evidence that more is better, uh, even for bone health or fracture reduction. But dietary sources of calcium do not pose the same risks. I recommend for my patients that the, the safest thing to do is try to get their calcium through their diet. We think that the body processes calcium very different when it comes from food sources versus supplements. Foods like milk, yogurt, and almonds are high in calcium. The recommended dietary allowance of calcium for most adults is 1,000 milligrams a day. For women ages 51 and older and men ages 71 and older, it's 1,200 milligrams. Now, if you have a calcium deficiency, talk with your doctor about whether taking supplements could be beneficial.